Hello there everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Italian Union Lover, but of course we're using the DLC by Blood Alone, and this is where we're at in 1941, June 18. The casualties, well, they've gone okay. We've just let's suffer about a little more than a third of a million. And we're doing okay against the Italian oh, Italians, we are the Italians, against the Germans and a couple other people here. It's kind of a mess. Um, the Turks have been called involved. We do join the French or the Czech Entente just to help take out the Axis. And once the Axis is gone, with us taking out the Turks, Iraq, and stuff like that. And then we'll really start pushing that way. I'm not sure if we can ever take out the North American Coalition, but... Oh, they're fighting the common turn as well. Um, well, British Communist Alternative. Well, that's definitely an alternative to what we have right now. But, let's read through some comments. We'll read through some focuses, and then we'll continue going forward. Super Marina. A modern operation center should be established with the Gia Marina's Commander-in-Chief. To coordinate the operations of our naval formations throughout the Mediterranean and beyond. Which would be good, since we'll have to take out maybe the UK, perhaps? But you never know. Support Artillery. Uh, Militia Maritima de Artiglieria. It is an extensive coastline and an isolated island port, so vulnerable to invasion by reforming our militia costiera and investing in our coastal defenses. We can assure any invaders pay a heavy price. Oh, coastal defense is not bad too. Intensified torpedo manufacturing. Italian torpedoes are among the most reliable in the world. Fiume was the birthplace of the torpedo with, with the factory there in the. Celorificio Italiano plant at Naples. We have a good foundation on which to further expand the use of a deadly naval weapon. Oh, auto naval guns. It relies on the firms of uh, Ansaldo and Odere Attorney Orlando for the big guns of its capital ships. By making targeted investments of their capacity, we can make our battleships the envy of the world. Uh, Cita dell'Aria. Our research efforts have been long spread across many different areas of the country. This has made things quite inefficient. We should combine our research efforts and found a sky city in which scientists and engineers from many different fields uh, study can work together to build a new generation of planes. Dive bombers might not be bad. Um, super aerial. The days of small groups of planes flying here and there along gone, a modern air campaign is in many ways similar to the complexity of any land-based undertaking. As such, we need a specialized planning staff to coordinate our various squadrons so they can get act together to accomplish their mission course. And we still haven't been do this yet, but well, of course, probably defend the land eventually. The Soviet Union and its policies have failed the proletariat and the Marxist ideology. The Italian people will take their own path towards communism, a path full of obstacles and threats that we will have to overcome, but hopefully also with comrades and allies help each other as well. The Ethiopian question. The war in Ethiopia has been a brutal and unjust affair. We must make amends for the atrocities caused by the fascists in the country and reach out to the local authorities to seek reconciliation. Um, you have air coordination. Ooh, that is not bad, too. Decima flotiglia mas. That's not bad, either. Um, more screens efficiency, max production, or we can do that one. So right now we've gone down the thing of fleet and being. What is this? Oh, we have admirals too. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know we could have that. So we're fleet and being. So we'll probably need to go with this one. Incrociatori pesanti. But now Italy lacks an industrial base to build enough battleships for them to be everywhere at once uh, when we need them. But providing powerful all armor cruisers like our Zara class will have the ships that contest control the seas across multiple areas of operations. Expand intel naval intelligence. Italian signals intelligence has run on a small budget for many years, relying on the considerable towns of Giorgio, Vertia, Poeta, and Luigi Donini. But this only goes so far, provi providing them with more staff and enlisting new towns like Lieutenant Eliso Porto will stand a better chance of cracking enemies' codes and discovering the location of their forces. Oh, what is this? Coordination stuff, huh? Um, a robust shipbuilding armaments industry has had a recent history of shipbuilding or building warships for other nations, like Greece's Hydro class destroyers, or assisting with designs such as, as provided the USSR for the projects and ships. Seeking out similar opportunities could help us further develop our industrial base for the trials that lie ahead, of course. Standardization versus specialization. Oh boy. Officers of the service role. Well, we could probably get there too. <clears throat> It's no longer sufficient to simply take officers from the army and teach them how to fly, or our first requires a new breed of officers. One that was raised and molded by the service instead of merely by adopting it. Which is pretty cool. Um, let's talk about guns. Be nice. A tank may have revolutionized warfare, but in many ways, a self propelled gun is the most valuable vehicle on the battlefield. The fire support offered by comparatively cheap and simple vehicles is invaluable when it comes to fighting through fortifications against or against enemy tanks. Redirect Alfa Romeo production. For decades, Italian sports cars have been at the absolute pinnacle of technology, but with the clouds of war closing in, everyone in Italy must do their part. We cannot afford to retain a pointless luxuries, and the machines of the Alfa Romeo plants may be better used for military purposes. Prep plant in Terni. I think I went with this one last time, so you're this, please go ahead, but I'm going to go with steel plants, or steel industry in Terni. The steel. Terni Steelworks have long formed the backbone of Italian steel production, and the wars that come, we'll need to rely on them even more. A few investments now made will undoubtedly pay off massively later. Industria della Goma Sinitica. Our geographical position in the heart of the Mediterranean makes us uniquely vulnerable to blockade by hostile powers. If we're to take our rightful place in the world, we must be able to sustain our industries without foreign imports. 
Now this one, last time I'm going to play Historical Italy, or a Historical Italy, or whatever. So we're going to modernize uh, Mezzogiorno. The south of Italy has been a problem child for as long as we've been a unified country. But with their desire to become the dominant power in the Mediterranean, all that untapped potential must be mobilized. A new industrialization program. Keeping up with the rest of the world requires constant innovation and improvements. We cannot expect to maintain or remain competitive if we rest on our laurels. We must instead constantly strive for more in the Ministry of Italian Africa. The various tribes and peoples of Africa cannot be handled like we must deal with other subject nations or peoples. Administering these areas will require a different approach, but some comments include uh, poggers. Poggers, poggers. Someone else says, I was expecting Mario to have a red hat. Oh, someone says, even me ask the Lord, momentum of Hawaii for communist Italy runs be like. Um, someone said, if, if I chose Gramsci, he would give you a lot of bonuses after he recovered from his illness, which we did see last episode, but yeah, that's very true. Um, someone else tried to give us some advice as well, because it's not very easy to play communist Italy. Maybe puppet Libya, perhaps, get some heavy gun battleships and torpedo destroyers, heavily armed naval bombers, of course. Uh, maybe some crappy basic fighters as well, so. Britain's OP, so at least three or four armies to invade. Someone says, make a Christian democratic Roman Empire, please, I want to see it. Uh, someone says, why? I don't know why this leader is leading the communist people of Italy. He was a uh, real life president of Italy. So, and someone else, can you do Guangdong Tien and Tieno as Morito once it releases? Yes, of course I can. Well, everyone, the German Reich is capitulated now. Czechoslovakia is looking really kind of a bit longer. Um, we haven't capitulated the Hungarians yet, but we are pushing this way as well. But I do want to show you what's up. The Union of Britain, we're still fighting them, apparently. Not having a good time with them. The British Communist Alternative, hopefully we can take them out before China gets called in, India gets called in. Well, I guess India has already been called in, but whatever. Um,. The common turn, well, they're doing stuff. And Germany, we've killed off 1.6 million of them. We're 30% total war participation, which is pretty good. Um, land combat damage is pretty pretty awesome. Convoy rating 7,400. Pretty darn nice. But, as you can see, we are now thrusting our way into the Low Countries, or what was known as the Low Countries, and we're just having a good old time here. Who is not giving us what we want? That's because we're out of stuff. As we feel, oh, good God. Um, if that's the case, a lot of people have blockaded us. We want to make more of our own fuel. Uh, oh, Dutch Reich. Huh. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here, because I would like to make some more bombers and whatnot. Specifically naval bombers. Oh, we just need more production. I think that's the main thing here. Because right now we do have improved naval carrier bomber airframes, improved carrier airframes, um, improved small airframes. Um, like our fighters. Improve close air support and medium airplanes. Uh, naval targeting is okay, so we'll get there. Make sure the mainland is secured from the British, and then uh, kind of go from there. Get these guys out too. Also, original democratic Greece—they're in our same faction now, um, and they have helped take out the Turkish Empire, which is kind of sucky for us, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. Uh, what's going on over here? Ooh, that's not really so. That's not, that's not. Keep sending them convoys. Because we're just deleting enemy divisions left and right. There you go. Oh wow, they lost. Quite a few things there, didn't they? Ooh, I guess we didn't lose anything there really. Hey, not bad for us. French Navy kind of sucked, huh? Guess we're losing some subs as well, which does suck as well. Lost two subs, but these subs aren't very good. We'll make some better subs as well, so. Go ahead and go on in, guys. See what you can do. The UOB, Union of Britain, has not that many divisions. Well, they have quite a few divisions. Got quite a few of them, though. We'll get higher war score participation as we keep doing this, too. Take more casualties, we'll get higher war score participation. We need to raise the conscription level, too, goddamn it. I don't want to go to extra by requirement, but if I have to, so be it. Anti sub, so be it. Convoys, convoys. We're doing Super Alreal, as we read earlier as well. So if you want to read that again, please go right ahead, but it is what it is. Um, uh, King of Poland. I'm gonna say no for now. What do you want me to do? China? No, I don't want to go to war with China. I'm good. We're barely here in Europe as is. Nice. Good, good, good. So really need to focus on the stuff here. Exports. Ooh. Regenes exports. So Regenes. Uh, companies developed a series of quite capable fighter planes that have caught the attention of the four military seeking to modernize the Air Force. If you would allow them to expert their planes, the experience gained from modifying the bases under different uh, specifications would not be quite valuable for our own development projects. Another comment, though, um, from yesterday included that uh, 
Well, how do we get Monarchist Italy? Yeah, there's a route for that. There is quite a route. Ooh, look at all these divisions that are gonna die. Or are dying. Bye bye. Ah, beautiful. So now we also throw all you guys back here. Let them navally invade and then kill more divisions off that way too. Um plane wise, what do we have around here? Alright, so fighters. What's our sport? Attack bombers. We have no naval bombers, that is not ideal. Meet him close. Deploying. Take another hundred of you. Ooh, that's not good. Now we're down here. Go ahead. Oh, you go in. Actually, you know what? Maybe hold first. You don't have a lot of organization. The War of Fall of Warsaw. Oh. What after this one? Die bombers. I think I read this earlier. Let me go have it. Topical close air sports gain considerable importance in military circles. While planes have long been used to drop bombs, it appears that several countries have started to develop specialized planes that can place a bomb with unmatched accuracy by diving from high altitudes. While industry can no doubt produce such a plane in time, there are other countries that have designed this for the purpose. Let me just a cup of coffee or two. Officers of the service role. Um, yeah, I read this one earlier, but we definitely need this one as well. Specialization. Well, let's see. Multi role aircraft. Not bad. Long range aircraft. Oh, there's more there too. Strategic bombing. We're not really strategic bombing. We're doing more of this stuff, so I'll go this way. Mm, yeah. Specialization. Try as we might, we'll never be able to match the bigger powers in terms of raw output. The only way we can compete in the air is by building better planes than anyone else. Each of them will have to be able to win a fight, even when outnumbered. Or well, I went three to three to four. Three or four to one. Multi-role aircraft. By developing airframes capable of performing different roles in combat, we can achieve a significant reduction in production costs and crew training time. We'll put our engineers to work on designing these kinds of versatile aircraft uh, airframes immediately. Fighter designs. Fighters are the backbone of any air force. We must ensure that a fighter aircraft has the means to impose air superiority in the skies and protect bombers on the way to the targets and supremacy in the skies. A modern army cannot operate successfully without the support of a powerful air force. It's the utmost importance that a country is state-of-the-art aircraft and technology to dominate the skies. Well, I knew this would happen. It does give us more time to uh, build up our navy a little bit more, but... The Soviets are now at war with us too, so that's kind of sucks. They've lost quite a few guys, they've quite a few divisions. We don't have that many divisions. We're going to get down here as fast as we can. Um, it's not going to be great, but we'll, we do what we must, as we all know. Sounds like life, but c'est la vie. Um, in the meantime, let's um, get some better light tanks, because what we have right now, you know, it's not as good as it probably could be. Um, small armaments, improved small cannons, probably. Close air support gun sounds like fun, but you know, whatever. Uh, special modules, sloped armor, we got the army XP for because why not? Easy maintenance, don't really need that one either. Smoke launchers, stabilizers, more breakthrough would be really nice to get. And uh, reliability, extra ammo. Uh, sure, why not? Diesel. Now we're good. Track suspension, torsion bar. Or you just go with this for more speed. Yeah, 102, a little faster, a little better. Why not? Improve tank chassis, improve light tanks. Goodbye. Uh, advanced light tank chassis. There you go. See what we can do. Improve medium airframe, improve carrier, carrier close, cast, you know. Overall, not bad. Uh, so these guys are quickly going that direction. We might get D-Day, but, you know, whatever. Um, lots of planes here and there. It is what it is. We're also researching how to get better uh, subs, too. You know, what's going to reward support? It's alright, though. We can afford to do that. Train regulars, colonial management, not super concerned. I kind of wish could get more war support, though. Like, war propaganda? Let's 50% war support. Kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Fuel refining, just in case. Get some more rubber, even though we don't really need more rubber now, but whatever. You guys are down here anyways. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do. Because we were out of guns, and we're still out of, out of a lot of guns right now as well. Which is kind of El Succo right now for us. She's so like a mobile warfare and we didn't really choose much for her. Oh, good god. Um, Alright, I'm not super concerned about that for now. Uh, they're attacking us, we're attacking them, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. 
It does, does pose a question. How, how, how much strength do they do have? A lot of million manpower, way more than us. A lot of divisions. Probably a lot more than us right now. They are trying to fight the, the Axis too, and they're coming through there. So I guess we'll see. And division destroyed is a good thing for us. Of course, we have some really thick divisions. Not superior divisions, just really thick ones. I knew we'd get an alien invaded too, so I'm not super worried about that. Bomber designs with new uh, designs. Our bombers are, for our Air Force will be able to support our sports on land and sea while threatening any troops in their supply lines. Let's go fire designs first, though. So, which would be nice. As we're trying to make more divisions, we are mobilizing a little bit more, too, so that'd be good, too. Um, regional integration? Sure, why not? Follow Ber What? Why did that fire? Berlin has already fallen. What do you mean? I do not understand what they mean by that. But sure, why not? You know, why freaking not? Um, should have probably made more tanks. Yeah, 18 count with this. Okay, should have thrown this on there too. It is what it is. My bad. But yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated on what's going on at all times and seeing how we're gonna end up doing and you know stuff like that. Fire design, supremacy in disguise, Carisi de Esbuskesensis. Some say that the days of the horse and the rider on the battlefield are over. That the role of the cavalry has been taken over by tanks and airplanes, but they're wrong. A horse does not need fuel, does not need a grow own crew, it requires no spare parts except a new horseshoe every now and then. This gives cavalry clear advantage even on the modern battlefield. Well, we're going with specialization here. Increased production actually is, on my opinion, way better. But, keep specialization. With all the rest of the world might have forgotten the value of skill. For such and quality, we in Italy have not. A craftsman will always pay attention to the smallest detail and create what is hands down the finest example of any piece of equipment they work on. Thermojet research. Our engineers believe that in the future, planes will no longer be driven by propellers or power powered by piston engines. Instead, a new technology will make planes much faster and more en enable radically different airplane designs. Italy must be the leading edge of this development. Expand Foggia farm fields. The region of Foggia has long been the granary that feeds all of Italy. When the war began, we'll have to draft as many men who work in the fields into the army. Once modern has expand the farming in the, in the area, we want to keep our population fed. Which would be good to do as well, and... Um, I think I read this one earlier, so if you want to read this one again, please go ahead, or I can read it again. We know Italy lacks industrial base to build enough battleships for them to be everywhere and we need them at once. By building powerful, well-armored cruisers like a Zara class, well, the ships can test control of the seas across multiple areas of operation. Navi da Battiglia. Uh, the littorial class battleships are fast and powerful examples of the capital ship. Building more of these vessels and refining your doctrine and using them more effectively will substantially improve our and battle. And this is where we're at currently. We're actually pretty freaking deep into the Soviet Union. We've done quite a bit against them. They're 92% of the towards capitulation. They've only 83 divisions left. They've lost a lot of guys, which isn't bad. As you can see, the Union Britain has invaded us quite well themselves, which does kind of suck. But then again, they keep doing this. They get kind of weaker and weaker every single time. They only have 20 divisions. Now, their Navy's still pretty formidable, but um, we'll use our Navy to try to naval invade to see what we can do. Because they just keep sending their divisions over, and they just keep dying, 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 which is okay with us as we're doing more thermal jet research. So, we're not done with all the focuses that we read off screen, but that's kind of okay with us for now. We've just been balls deep into them like crazy. Um, kind of sucks having to go all this way to get out there, but it take them all out. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, make a research. I don't think we'll actually be able to get to there in time, but, you know, whatever. Supply-wise, we're going to need a little bit more fuel, aren't we? Yes, sir. Because we lost all of our ships in terms of subbies. But we're bringing them back, so... That'll be good. Go on in, guys. See what you can do. Um, if we can actually kick these guys out of the mainland, then we can just use this army to help invade the UK, or I guess Union Britain at this point. So, there's that. We do have four tanks now, which is a little better than what we had before. But still not perfect yet. Yeah, taking out the Soviet Union really sucks, especially when you have people captured by them. Oh, goodness. And Air Force. It just takes so long to capitulate them, which is very, very, very annoying. 84% of the way there. I mean, we'll get them. We'll get them done. Uh, what are we lacking? We're actually lacking a lot of artillery. I did cut back on artillery production in favor of gun production, but it looks like now it's the other way around. We are going to get a bit more tungsten, too, but we'll find it. Keep going in, guys. You're doing a great job. Two convoys. Very nice, very nice. Russells, up them out. They're only super heavy tanks, or just tanks, I guess, in general. 95, good. 
and 23 divisions left. Basically, they sent the entire army to just die in the continent. You think they might start revolting, but, but you know, whatever. No, I don't want to send them to the Soviet Union. Kazan would be a beautiful place to be this time of year. But we can't quite get them, so we're going to go around them. See if we can do that. Nice, nice. Oh, that's sub, that sucks. Take another one then. See what you can do about that. Amins? Amin? Amion? Attacking on this side kind of sucks. But if we still win, why not? Also, do we even max these things out? Yeah, we already did. I kind of figured we did. Just wanted to make sure. Double check. Race for the bomb? Sure. We can allow others to develop an atom bomb for us. We must do whatever we can to ensure our technological spirit is not threatened. Hurt him much. Hurt him much. We got this a long time ago. Which at research. Uh, we could do that one, or we could do this one for another military factory as well. I think I have to go with that one. What do we have here? Anything here? Modern small airplane, huh? Two cannon twos, huh? Wow. Geology is extremely good. Advanced, but I think I'll go to moderns. Got up quite a few roads. It's pretty nice. Come on, that stuff there. Five of our fleets over here. Better engineers. It's only 44. Kuhn, oh god. Romania. Well, now they're democratic. Go figure. Well, Kazan's been cut off. The Iranian communist god dang authority. Are you kidding me, bro? How much more do we need to capitulate these guys? My god. China's not a major power, so I'm kind of done. Um, I guess at this point, as long as I capitulate these guys, that's all I really care about. I mean, we could capitulate the Unibrin, and I kind of want to. Let's see what type of naval battle we can get ourselves engaged in here. Oh, and it looks like the Soviets are probably capitulating. And we'll do this piece still off screen. And here we are at. Oh my gosh. Industry's damage as Italian troops advance at Kmolinsk. We begin seizing control of the railways and industry. Shockingly, the entire thing has been rigged with explosive material to detonate. Clearly a trap left behind by Polish army. We can expect this to happen every time we attempt to seize Polish industry. So I took out as much of Germany as we possibly could. As you can see, we did pretty darn well. We have British Germany. We took out the Dutch. The Polish got like Ostmark and Poznan. As well as Obosheets and Alcatavis. But then we have the Russian Federation over here. It's a puppet. Oh, no, they're independent. And we got, like, the French commune owns Hungary. Um, still fighting down here. The Union of Greek Soviet Republics is actually our ally. The Soviet Union still exists down here itself. Um, we did take Kherson, Zaporozhye, Rostov. And I did grab Azerbaijan, just literally just for the fuel. We have Russia over here. God, this is disgusting. Um, Jesus Christ. The Turkish Empire is up here as well. We have the Kingdom of Livonia. While we're still fighting the Czechoslovakia up here, for some reason. They're not even connected. God, this peace deal system is weird. How did I get Tanu Tuba and this territory over here in Russia? This is so bad. Oh, my God. Um, Zaire is over here, too. Uh... Yeah, but our industry's not looking too bad. But I think I'm going to end it there just because I think I'm kind of done playing as a communist Italy as we're back at war still with the British people. But we could take them out, but you know, it is what it is, whatever. I don't want to take out um, Japan. Because I'm in Iran. I don't want to take out the Comintern again. Why Why is British Germany a major power? They literally just capitulated. We killed enough of them off. We're doing pretty well. But hey, I think we're going to end it there, like I said. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign.
Uh, have a great rest of your day.